Hello my do dear YouTube viewers, <coughs> sorry for being a total mess today, um, this is going to be a bit of a talky talky video because I made a post on the Orchid forum on Facebook and I started talking about a new method of growing for my papillopedalums sli or slip orchids and <coughs> so I will probably continue this topic here and like say more. Apologies for my bad state. I had a bad cold and then I had the stomach flu and I'm kind of tired and my nose is like mm -hmm. And I just stopped studying so it's like Where's my brain? It's not here. It's somewhere here It's like HR and stuff Anyway, um, I'm going to be reading some stuff because I'm horrible and I'm really crap so first let's start. We I started the topic. We're talking about the uh, German company called Lehusa, which basically Lehusa in Spanish, I think it means owl. I have no idea why is it called Lehusa, but because it's German and in German it doesn't mean owl, it probably means I have no idea what. <coughs> and this is a company that produces out indoor and outdoor flower pots which are uh, they have a special self watering system and they have also garden furniture and oh pardon me and other weird stuff like that um i went for the indoor pots because um well i'm kind of busy and i study a lot and sometimes watering plants is takes up to two hours for me and it is a big waste of time. I, I, uh, you know what, it's not like ooh, a waste of time, I want to get rid of it. It's more like it is a waste of time, especially if you have other stuff you really want to do. Um, therefore, I w wanted to find a different method which A, will take less space. Because when you have those slipper orchids and they have one pod, two pod, three pod, four pod, five, six, seven, eight, ten pods. And it's like half of my windowsill is gone but then again if you actually plant it in, in a smart way in a one long pot then they would, wouldn't take that much space but also if you, we, I could find something that would save me from watering them every single week and especially when it gets really hard that would save me from watering them twice a week that is so much happy and also um, when you repot them uh, the bark is expensive especially the good bark, uh, fertilizers are expensive. Sorry, I need to have glasses of water. And also, um, you can get bugs in the potty mix. So it's a boo-boo. I don't like boo-boo like that. So I'm going to look, I uh, was looking for a new method how to grow my plants in a better way. And I came across accidentally while looking on Amazon while trying to find myself a four separator pod, which basically is like a hair pod, which has like a, I don't know, very primitive semi hydroponic system. So basically, um, you will have a round pod which you will separate it before when you plant herbs. Simple. So, in theory, my idea was to put bark in there and plant plants in there. <clears throat> but I came across all of those. Other things, uh, which were the self-watering pots from Lacusa, and I started reading, and I went to the website, and I found it quite interesting. But most of the stuff was marketing and advertisement, and it was always like, "Oh, so beautiful, thirty percent better growth from plants, um, amazing effects." They they actually do have a separate web page for just growing orchids and how it works and blah 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 we are amazing we are wonderful stupendous let's just buy it straight away so I decided no I'm gonna first research so I actually was looking online and I found some people from Germany who are actually growing them and they were having quite a lot of success especially with the slipper orchids some of them were growing them drogbeans they were very happy and many of them were growing a uh, Feldnapsis ones I think there was a German guy who basically said his mom loves orchids but she couldn't grow them because she would overwater them and kill them and he got her this thing and now she's been growing them quite successfully for two years and she was very happy. So um, <clears throat> it is okay, I find the idea very nice 
and I do like it and I went online and I researched it a bit more and therefore I bought one of for myself for a starter and uh, my idea was to because they offer you the pots which is the whole system and they offer you separately a potting mix which was the thing that got me interested even more because I would remove bark uh, and bark uh, orchid potting medium completely from my house and especially when it comes to medium like that when you get bugs in it I hate bugs and I hate fungus nuts and I wanted to re remove them therefore I went to to have a look and basically I promised some people I'm going to read what is in the potting mix the pot you have the two potting mix they do the indoor one <coughs> which is called the Lehusa Pond and then you have the outdoor which is Lehusa Terra um, the Lehusa Pond I'm going to be reading now because I don't remember it from my head I'm not that good so the the Husa Pond consists of zeolite, German washed pumice, uh, German light lava, so much German in here, uh, supplies the plant with iron permanently, it's good, fully coated premium quality fertilizer, uh, yes, yeah, so basically uh, <coughs> the fertilizer in here is suitable for all plants and it is suitable for orchids and yeah so basically it is a very delicate fertilizer which is actually shaped like stones and it's going to be dissolving in like months because it's say they say in here you're not supposed to use any fertilizer till like six months after you pot them so uh, yeah that's interesting anyway <clears throat> so yeah i've got oh it also says that because it's like there's no soil and then everything because it's been sterilized it's been boiled blah, blah, blah. um it's odorless so basically it's not going to smell and it prevents the fungus attacks on the roots and yeah so yeah it sounds good oh it's actually they say it's uh it is not a good home for pests such as dark winged fungus gnats as they only nest in soil. Yay! So, um, yeah, I went for this. They have a quite uh, of choice for the pots. Basically, they they have the part, the indoor pots are called the table planters and they have a cube collar, which is basically a square, as the name says, it's a cube. And it's made to re re resemble a rattan, which is basically like when you have the garden chairs made of that funny grass thing. So uh, you have a cubico, which is a small one, a uh, big one, which is like a tall vase. And then you have the Delta 10 and 20. I went for the Delta 10 because it's very cheap and it's a long, uh, a long one, which basically you have can have three or four plants. The Delta 20 is like huge. So this is more like if you have enough space, but Delta 10 is perfect enough for me. Then you have the mini Deltini, which is like, I don't know, a circle, it's just like a normal pod. And, and then you have the Lehusa Puro, which is basically an orb, which is quite nice. But that has no use for me. Um, so, as I said, I went for this, and the system they have it's one step away from uh, semi hydroponics. It's basically a subrogation system uh, that has a water supply shaft, a water indicator, and basically it works with the um, the potting mix. Uh, so, and it's built up, so it's kind of the plants grow, it's like kind of semi hydroponics, but it's not semi hydroponics. So basically, you fill the pot with water literally to the bottom of the uh, the stones, and the, then the bottom bit of the stones basically is done in a really funny way when you have the pot. So it's like you have the pot, which is like this flat, you have like two zinks, or I call them, which will go into the water, which will be filled with the stones. And those stones will be moving the water, like taking the moisture out like a paper towel would be, and then just spreading it all over the pot. 
so it works in that way. Um, I don't know how else I can uh, how else I can explain this. I've seen some people on blogs saying, yeah, it's really good. It's very good for herbs. So if they can grow herbs in this, we can grow orchids in this. That's simple. Um, the only thing is not to not to kill them. And first question will be, <clears throat> because I heard someone already mentioned this, um, no aeration for pots. Well, basically, this is stone, and stone has the quality that there's more air in the stone that it would be in sphagnum moss, uh, bark mix and stuff like that because basically when you have a whole dose potting mixes, I've seen the potting mix both for slip orchids and they basically look like torf from a mud field and they're very wet and cloggy and the only air you will get in there is the air you probably put on the first potting sometimes. I had the last mix and it was the bark and the bark started decomposing and it just turns into mush. So it is good, but it's not perfect. So I think in this uh, this way it will be actually better because the stone will have more air. Um, yeah, so that's about it. So time for presentation. So I do have my Lehusa, which is my pot. I'm going to just move the camera so you can all have a look, you know. Oh god, this camera is so funny. Oh no, don't do this. What? The problem is that my phone doesn't like this position. Hold on, everyone. Hold to your pants. Oh, holding to your pants. So, you can see this. You can see my Superman logo. Oh, my phone just moved. Sorry, guys. So, this is the pod, basically you have the... I'm gonna kill my phone, honestly. I thought that I've got myself a really nice phone stand. And basically what it does, it has those clippers, which basically let my phone move, like slide like... Oh. Anyway, um, so you have the outer shell, which is the actual pod, and then if I can just do this, probably I won't be able to do this. I can't, my hands are... My hands are kind of wet because I had eczema attack and I had to put plenty of potting mix. So basically, you can... Oh, I can... Oh, no, I can't. Just use my nails. Ha 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 ha! I've done it! Oh, probably... I've done it twice already today because I had to water it first time and then I had to empty the water and I had to water it again normally. Of course, of course, I'm gonna destroy this before I do this. Uh, no, that's actually it's because it's heavy, because the stones are heavy now. So, so you have the shell and ta-da, this is the actual, this is the actual pod. So you, you can see at the bottom you have the four legs this bit here with, with my finger, there's my finger here. This is the water level, which basically measures the amount of water in your pot. And those two things at the bottom have the stones, which will be sucking out the water and putting it in in, in for the plants. So yeah, <clears throat> it works this lovely way. Um, what else I can say you about this system? So I don't think, I think that's it. Oh, this thing should be lower. I need to lower it. <laughs> First time. So anyway, I potted my papiopedalums in here. Uh, if you want to know what... Um, yes, I put some bark and charcoal tops on it because um, I had two small baggies of the potting mix. I've ordered a big one, which is like 15 kilos. is ridiculous cheap, cheap because it was a six pounds. Uh, no, sorry, there was six kilos for six pounds, I think so. Um, and I need to top it up, so I just use the bark and this to, yeah, so they don't dry out too quickly. And, yes, <clears throat> I need to do some updates anyway, so... This one here, this lovely guy, this small one, is the... Papiopedalum Rothschildianum and Papiopedalum Leucochilum. Leucochilum, which is basically the Nathaniel's Florence Grace. 
This one is my replacement Papiopedalum uh, Pinocchio Yellow. This one, it's the one I said to you that um, it came to me and it was a bit small and like sick and the, 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 the seller just replaced it with a huge plant. I'm so happy. This one here, this one hidden here, it is the Papiopedalum Rothschildianum crossed with Delinati, crossed with Pinocchio which is still alive and actually is doing something because the leaf is actually growing, which makes me very happy. <coughs> now this one, yes, there is four plants in here. I'm so happy. Um, and that saves me so much space. Um, I could probably, if I tried squeezing it more, I could squeeze a fifth one, but I'm not gonna. I could, but I'm not gonna, but maybe later. Um, and this one is the Papiopedalum armenicum, armeniacum, armeniacum, Cross will call upon Colpan Colpa Kingi. Colpa Kingi. It is really funny that when you get your plan and you read the name five thousand times in your head and you practice saying it to yourself, it is perfect. And then when you try to say it live on a feed, you're like e dur. So anyway, <coughs> it looks like this. I will take as I said, I will take the top layer of the bark and the charcoal flakes off and replace it with the rest of the potting mix for now I will probably do this later this week when I get the potting mix um, and yeah I need to empty this because it is too high because you have a line saying minimum water level maximum water level so yeah I think I kind of already did it anyway this is my update on the the the, the Lacusa potting mix the pots it's really nice. Oh, by the way, it's really nice. As you can see, it's quite big. It's really nice. This is the gloss white. It also comes in color like, <coughs> not to lie, because I have my internet on. So basically it comes in rose gold, high gloss, Norwegian ice blue, um, pastel violet, shiny two pair which is basically if you have copper like very dirty copper it's like something like that very very nice shine and then you have black uh charcoal black metallic and the white high gloss which is mine so yeah back to my ugly face yeah cut me up if you can see there's penny and leonard in the background so that is my update on the pots. I hope you liked it and I hope you answered some question. As I uh, also I'm saying because I only saved this on the forum, I will be doing, this is a, a growing experiment for me. Oh, you stupid phone. I am absolutely going to throw you to the window. Don't do this. Oh, absolutely annoying. So this is going to be an experiment for me and I'm going to give it approximately minimum six months to see some changes and results and see how my plants react to it. it. If it's growing then I'll be very very happy and I'll be trying to update you every month. Uh, because a yeah, month is a good period of time to actually give you any plant updates because you can't say like oh I'll give you a week. Nah. Nada, not, not, not gonna happen because in a week nothing is going to grow that fast. So if you give it approximately a month, you can actually see, oh, the plant is dying, the plant is growing, the plant is doing something. Um, if it starts growing flowers, that means this is really good. Uh, if it's just like sulking or something, I, I'll, I'll give it more time. So yeah. Um, subscribe to my channel to see the rest, see what's happening next month. I will keep you updated and if you like this video please put a like there if you have any questions or comments please put them below and hopefully I will see you soon see you bye